Before I begin, I do want to say that Home Goods is one of my favorite stores, and this is no shade to Home Goods. Hey, creators! Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I know I've been gone for a while, Just but a while. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm back. I was going through a lot of personal family matters, but I'm back, and I'm happy to be back. And in this video, my mom is with me. The well-dressed house, if you guys don't know already, <laughs> you probably do. But in this video, we are going to take you around two stores that we think have unique dope pieces that are a little bit better than home goods. All right, so this is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing these jeans that I always wear. They're from Zara, and I have these Adidas shoes on. And this top I thrifted from Goodwill. You guys know that's my favorite place. And this mask is from Home Goods. Don't forget to follow my Instagram if you guys want to see my outfit posts. Just a chill outfit today. All right, guys, before we begin, let me explain to you what Westside Market is. So there's two locations, and it's about 85,000 square feet, and they have different vendors and booths that you guys can check out, and they're all each individually priced. They have good prices. They start pretty low, but they can go super high because there's a lot of luxury pieces in here. But I love that all these pieces are unique. And I will definitely take you guys around so you guys can see. So a lot of you guys probably don't live in Georgia. So if you don't, you can definitely search online in your town for your closest design districts. You will find a lot of vendors there and a lot of boutique stores. And they might be pricey. So keep in mind that when you go to these stores, you want to put some money aside to invest in large pieces or unique finds that you can't get anywhere else. So what I like about this place is there's a lot of RH dupes that you guys can find here. Like I think that this is kind of a dupe and this coffee table right here is definitely a dupe. So this is one of my favorite areas because it reminds me more of how I like to decorate. I like the style in this area. So the great thing about Westside Market is all their vendors have all their booths styled for you. Unlike Home Goods, they really put attention to detail in styling each booth to make it kind of look like a room or a living room, a bedroom, anything like that. I like how they have everything staged and styled so you can see how you can incorporate pieces that you even find from other places. This, this store is a great store to get inspiration for how to decorate your home. So it's not just about buying stuff from there. You can definitely get some ideas, take some pictures and videos so you can bring back home and see what you can do with items that you already have or items that you picked up from home goods already. So definitely mix and match high end and low end thrifted items, all of that. I really feel like that elevates your home and makes it look so unique. We're going for unique and classy. And I love this wicker basket. It's kind of similar to the one that I have in my dining room. Seems like really good quality. And this is actually where I bought my beads from. They're 18. I think I have two of them. I actually have one that is from Home Goods and one that's from the store. And they're pretty similarly priced. I do love this. It's another cal calligraphy brush. And this one is $70. It's really nice. I love these vessels. These are really cute. Right? I want to get those Really? Oh, you already saw them? Yeah, I've seen them a couple of times. So we're going to style my mom's bookshelf in another video, and she says she really likes these. Can you tell them why you like them? I just like how they look, you know, the antique, unusual nature and things. And they're not that expensive. This one is 68. This one's 68. They come in different sizes. Oh, they're both 68. Oh, that's pretty good. Two different sizes. Beautiful sete. They also have beds here as well. As they sell their books here as well, their coffee table books. And my mom has been on the hunt 
tell them about your obsession with coffee table I books. Know, I, I love know. Them. I love them, but my mom I have a problem. Please uh-huh. tell them about all the books that you've been buying. Yeah, but you need them. <laughs> you know, I need them, you know. That they're, they're great everywhere. In my bedroom, mm-hmm. in the living room, on the bookshelves. Anywhere I can find to put a book, I'm putting it. <laughs> Literally anywhere. I got my obsession for coffee table books from her. So this is like a secret, but this is where a lot of designers will go to buy pieces to stage homes. Mm-hmm. And also we've met a couple of designers in here. So this is their best kept secret. You'll see a lot of figurines like this in home goods, but they're all the same. And I like how these are significantly different so you can still do the trend of figurines in your home but they're a lot different than the ones that you find in home goods because a figurine that i bought i've actually seen a couple people with so if you want standout figurines definitely go to boutique start amber, it's amber interiors oh and she how much is this last year 40 dollars nice yeah I like she's the color. got a beautiful um aesthetic on the phone Another thing you guys can do is when you go inside these stores and you see all these new coffee table books, definitely search them up online and the trick is to type in used behind your search so you can find the used version of the book for a cheaper price and they're in pretty good condition considering that they're used and they'll have it shipped out to you and you won't have to spend the money that you would spend if you were buying it brand new. So my sister's getting a new apartment and I'm gonna help her decorate. So we're gonna pick out some pieces for her and I actually really like these pillows. She's more bohemian and the our, the our house aesthetic. So we're just keeping in mind some stuff for her. These black beads. Really nice beads. And this bowl is really, really RH vibes, you guys. No, this one is 115. Thank you. I've seen boxes like this at home goods. Me too. Oh my I god. Love that book. Flip to the pages. Wow. Oh wow. No. Gorgeous. This book is really nice. Beautiful. Oh my god. It has great inspiration. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, look at this. I know. I <laughs> you know it's I love really a white nice. and black house. Yes. So if you're looking to bring your home up a notch, you want to add pieces that aren't always from all the big chain stores like Home Goods at Home. You can still buy pieces there, but definitely mix in other unique stores and even go thrifting or antiquing because you want to make your home feel personalized. That's one thing I absolutely love about my house is I feel like I add personal touches to my home. Oh my God. <laughs> my bowls paper mache bowls i actually have the one that's on my bookshelf from this store as well they're 45 or they range in price and i love this white color <gasps> oh my god i love this that is so nice. Where'd you so get this? Nice. Yeah, I think I might get this. I love this. I love that. You think we could do something with the book? Yes. I think that would be perfect. I love that. Please. Yes, 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 yes. So, look at these books. Have you guys been to RH and seen how massive their um, books are? This one is $200, and I love that it has blank pages. What and material the is that? What edges. Of- it's just paper, it's like mm-hmm. heavy duty paper. Mm-hmm. Like I almost like this. parchment paper or something. Yes, I don't know. Yes, and it's binded by like. And it's binded. Wow. I love that. It's huge. I love it. I love that. And I like that they have different books that are the same color, like different tones. Mm-hmm. This is really nice to decorate your bookshelf as well. Mm-hmm. Really nice. You want to keep 
your color scheme pretty much the same. They have a lot of books here. And this is actually just a hollow box that they have. This is really nice. I also got this for my kitchen and I keep fruit and vegetables on it but I have the smaller version I love this bigger one as well and this one I don't know how much this one is but I think I spent $65 on mine and I love this I think it's really nice in a kitchen filled with moss I've seen it in a model home before and I absolutely love it it's really unique and it kind of elevates your home all right creators so I want to give you a mini haul these items are for my mom's bookshelves in her house and also I do want to mention I don't know if I said this in my vlog footage but I will be helping my sister decorate her new apartment when she gets it she's also moving to Atlanta so well, she's actually in Georgia, but she's moving to Atlanta. So I will take you guys along that journey and you guys will see me decorate and style other people's homes and my family's homes. So I hope you guys are excited about that. Let me show you some of the items that I picked up for my mom. So the first thing, I don't know if I showed this, is this paper mache bowl. It's so small and so cute. I actually have a paper mache bowl that I got from Westside Market as well, and it's on my bookshelf. Let me go get it, I'll show you guys. So this is my paper mache bowl, and it's not from the same vendor, but mine was actually $45, if I'm not mistaken. And my mom is $40, it's a little bit smaller, but I like that this is white or it has an off-white wash to it. I love that. We're gonna put that on her bookshelf on top of some coffee table books. And then this bowl, I love the details on it. Like I said, you can find so many unique pieces. This actually feels like wood. It's not super heavy, but I love the details on it. I like how it looks aged. Show you guys some other items that I picked up in the past. And I'm gonna link all my haul videos down below because when I was moving into my apartment, I went to Westside Market and I picked up some things. I showed you guys this in the vlog footage, but I have this stone bowl or um, tray and I love, I don't know if you guys can see that. I love the finish on it. I love that there's kind of a design inside of it. I don't know how to explain it, but I love this so much. This was, I think $65, it's super heavy. I use this whole fruit in my kitchen. I put apples there. I don't eat the apples, but I put it there. <laughs> And then I also have this stone tray that I used to hold beads in this tray on my old um, coffee table. I, If you guys stick around, you know that I like a lot of aged and old vintage looking items, antique looking items. So this falls in line with what I love. And then I got this wooden riser for my island as well from Westside Market. And I think this was $35. It's a good size for my small island. And that's all I got. First, thank you so much for watching this video. And welcome back to all my subscribers. If you guys have been here and to my new subscribers, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And leave a comment below. What was your favorite item that you saw in Westside Market? Or leave a comment if you live in Georgia or the Atlanta area, because I really want to know how many of you guys are actually here. And thank you for being patient while I was away. I was going through a lot. I'm in a better space now. And I appreciate all of you guys that waited around and were excited to see me come back. And I will be back next week and I will keep you guys updated on all the progress that I make with my sister's apartment and my mom's house as well. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.